13.13.32 with Malcolm T for Stan Zamanik until midnight in Sydney and 11 o'clock in Brisbane. We've had some very sad news uh, passed on to us tonight. Um, one of our audio producers, panel operators extraordinaire Adrian, who uh, was responsible for our New Year's Eve program, working at this particular end of the, uh, of the shift and playing all the records, has had a, a rather sad end to his Christmas. He has a pet rabbit. Um, known affectionately as Bunny. And he came home tonight and he said to his father, he said, Dad, have you seen Bunny anywhere? And his father said, have a look in the fridge. <laughs> and uh, Adrian, you have uh, our, our deepest sympathy uh, in this moment of, tra of, of trauma for, for yourself. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do something to make it up for you tomorrow. When you come in, uh, either Greg or, or myself or Stephanie will will take you out to one of the nearby restaurants that serves rabbit stew. Well, that's not. I'm only compounding the injury now. Poor Adrian, shocked. He came home to find money, and bunnies in the fridge. What do you want to make those eyes at me for, bunny? <laughs> Not funny. It's very serious. That's how I lost Goosey. Yes, poor old Goosey got his head chopped off too, or Daffy Duck or whatever I called him, and ended up in the fridge. Not a nice way to go, is it? Adrian, we, we really do feel sorry for you and, and Bunny, but there's not much we can do about it now. <laughs> Let by burrows be by burrows. All right, where is Cathy? She's here and she's in Brisbane. Hi, Cathy. Hi, Malcolm. How are you? Oh, I'm all right. A bit devastated about the rabbit. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It is terrible. And Greg, in the newsroom, uh, when I started talking about it, he nearly fell out of the studio. He thought something dreadful had happened to poor old Adrian. But it had. It was an emotional wrench for Adrian to come home tonight and find the rabbit in the fridge. Well, I thought you was going to say something happened to Adrian. Then mm. you come out and his bunny. His bunny's gone. Oh, poor... I'll never eat rabbit again now. You <laughs> Turn me off it too. I think he, I think Dad might have given give, given the rabbit the shove in case he got the disease coming in from South Australia. Put the rabbit out of its misery. Oh, you're a meanie. I might buy a rabbit tomorrow and let it run around the studio here. I'll give Adrian something to worry about. Well, you're a nasty type. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, what I rang for to praise our Minister for Housing, he is very, very good. We've got a little retirement village here. Uh, he's just put us into six brand new units. Uh -huh. 